Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jab Reviews and thanks for joining me once again. For today's video, I'm going to explain or perhaps demystify how the coupon code distribution process works for watch faces inside the Samsung Galaxy App Store as well as inside the Google Play Store. And I know this is particularly important right now for many of you since you've recently picked up the Galaxy Watch 4 and of course that is using the Google Wear operating system which means you're going to need to download watch faces from the Play Store. And if you want to know how to apply those coupons inside the Google Play Store then make sure you click on the link above as I recently created a tutorial on how to redeem codes from Google. Okay, so I'm constantly receiving questions from viewers about how the coupon code policy works. And now many of you are also asking about how the Google policy is different from Samsung's. Well, let me start explaining how it works for Samsung first, because I also want to give you a little bit of background on why Samsung opted for a stricter coupon distribution policy. For those of you that have had Samsung devices for a while now, you're going to remember that up until about two years ago, there was actually no limit on the number of coupons that developers could release. And the reason why developers released so many codes at once was very simple because it indirectly affected their sales. And what I mean by that is that Samsung's own ranking algorithm for any particular watch face was actually tied to the number of downloads that face received. Now, many of you ask, well, why would that matter? Well, the more a watch face was downloaded meant its ranking inside the Galaxy App Store would rise and the more visibility a watch face receives also increases its chances of being downloaded and purchased. Think of it this way. When you go to Amazon to look for a product to buy, the items with the highest sales and reviews are always shown first, unless, of course, a seller pays for a promotion, which is a separate issue. But organically speaking, this is how the ranking works and customers are more likely to buy what they're looking for on the first page, even though there may be a thousand similar products, no one wants to scroll through 50 plus pages to see what they're looking for, which is why they always focus on the first page. Ranking inside the Galaxy Store was similar and the developers with faces that had the most downloads were pushed to the top of the pile. And as I said, this gave them at least the potential to make more money because there's literally hundreds of thousands of watch faces inside the App Store. So having visibility is one of those keys to success. And this is the reason why developers were flooding the community with codes. Now, unfortunately, this also had a negative effect on sales because as the trend started among developers to use these mass coupon distribution tools, users were actually less inclined to make a purchase because they knew that they could get a free design from almost any developer. And when sales started to suffer for the developers, they also suffered for Samsung. So Samsung reacted in two ways. First, it immediately capped the amount of codes that could be distributed to 50 per watch face per country per month. And this voluntary policy is still in effect since it was implemented in 2020. The other change it made was to remove downloads as a trigger in its ranking algorithm and instead base it on a sale or a purchase, which basically also removed any incentive for a developer to give away codes to begin with. The small amount that they have available to give away now is simply used for marketing purposes, but does not have any benefit to the developer in terms of ranking. Okay, so if that's how Samsung's current coupon policy works, how is it different for Google? Well, the Google policy allows for up to 500 codes per watch face per quarter. And the codes are not set to a particular country level like Samsung's are. They can be used by anyone anywhere in the world. So in total, Google actually provides up to 2000 coupon codes per year per design versus Samsung, which is 600 coupons per year per design, but that's also based on a per country level. So is one better than the other? Well, I think the Google policy is more flexible in that it's not country specific and it's not limited to a monthly basis, which gives the developers more flexibility in setting up marketing campaigns to maximize coupon use, giveaways, and ultimately visibility. 
Anyways guys, I hope this video helped explain a little bit more about the differences in the coupon policies between Samsung and Google. And if you do need assistance on how to redeem those codes in either the Galaxy App Store or the Google Play Store, then check down below in our video description as I have left video tutorial links for both. Thanks again for watching our review and if you can, give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more related content. I'll catch you guys in our next video. Until then, take care.